In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, this served as the backdrop for the disordered fifth year of Harry Potter's life. The Ministry of Magic is in denial about Lord Voldemort's return, and as a result, Hogwarts is under the control of the tyrannical Dolores Umbridge. Harry and his friends Ron and Hermione form a secret group called Dumbledore's Army to teach their fellow students how to defend themselves against the dark arts. The story began with Harry suffering from recurring nightmares about the sinister Department of Mysteries at the Ministry of Magic. As he returned to Hogwarts, he discovered that whispers of Voldemort's return had spread like wildfire. However, the ministry under the control of Cornelius Fudge, was actively discrediting Harry and Professor Dumbledore, portraying them as delusional troublemakers. Amidst this chaos, Harry found an unexpected ally in Luna Lovegood, a dreamy and unconventional Ravenclaw student. Luna, with her distinctive spectrospects and acceptance of the magical world's eccentricities, offered a unique perspective that helped Harry navigate the challenges ahead. Dolores Umbridge, a pink-clad, cat-loving bureaucrat, was appointed as the new defense against the dark arts teacher. However, her true mission was to suppress any information about Voldemort's return and exert control over the school. Umbridge's tyrannical rule led to the formation of Dumbledore's army, a secret student group led by Harry to learn practical defensive magic. The Weasley twins, Fred and George, added a touch of rebellion by leaving Hogwarts to pursue their dream of running a joke shop. Their departure was a protest against Umbridge's oppressive regime, and it left the school with a lingering sense of defiance. The mysterious Room of Requirement became the headquarters for Dumbledore's army. The students, driven by the need to defend themselves in a world that refused to acknowledge the impending danger, honed their magical skills under Harry's leadership. These clandestine meetings became a symbol of resistance against the oppressive forces at play. Simultaneously, Harry discovered a magical artifact known as the Prophecy in the Department of Mysteries. The prophecy foretold that neither Harry nor Voldemort could live while the other survived. This revelation fueled Harry's determination to confront the Dark Lord and understand the connection between them. As the school year progressed, tensions escalated. The students faced increasingly dangerous magical creatures in their defense against the dark arts classes, and Umbridge's punishments became more severe. The arrival of the enchanted weapon, Grop, Hagrid's half-brother, added another layer of chaos to the already turbulent environment. One of the most emotionally charged moments occurred when Harry's godfather, Sirius Black, was killed during a battle at the Department of Mysteries. The loss was a devastating blow to Harry, who had finally found a familial connection. This tragedy underscored the seriousness of the threat posed by Voldemort and his Death Eaters. In the climactic battle at the Ministry of Magic, the prophecy was shattered, and the Death Eaters were revealed to be listening in on Harry's plans. The battle showcased the strength of friendship and loyalty as members of the Order of the Phoenix, including Sirius's cousin Bellatrix Lestrange, engaged in a fierce magical duel. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix was a turning point in the series. It delved into the darker aspects of the wizarding world, explored themes of oppression and resistance, and marked the transition of the characters from adolescence to adulthood. As the magical community grappled with the resurgence of darkness, Harry and his friends faced challenges that tested their resilience, courage, and unwavering commitment to justice. Harry and his friends are able to defeat Voldemort's forces and rescue Sirius. However, Sirius is killed in the battle, and Harry is forced to confront the fact that he will have to face Voldemort again in the future. Despite the challenges he has faced, Harry remains determined to continue the fight against the Dark Lord. The story concluded with Dumbledore taking responsibility for the events that transpired, admitting that he had kept Harry in the dark for his protection.